Hello, Chad Trofgerman here. Today I'm going to do a tutorial on how to use sprites or animated GIFs in Flash. Now I've received this question quite a bit, and this is a great method if you're trying to recreate an old video game, or let's say you're trying to make a movie based on some old video game characters or those settings and so on. So let's go ahead and just get started and jump right in. This is actually pretty easy to do. So first, as you can see, I have a background image from an old video game, one of my favorites actually. And it's just an image that I just downloaded and brought in and I just placed it right on my timeline. What I wanna do is grab a character from that video game and have him walk across the screen. And so what I did was I went on the internet and I did a quick search for animated sprites or animated GIFs and I just came across a website this one right here in fact and you can as you can see it has all these different types of animated images so what I'm going to do is right click and save one of these images the one I want and I actually already have it saved right here but I'm going to go ahead and just save it wherever I want on my computer and download that now when I come back to Flash, I'm going to make a new layer on my timeline. And I'll just name it character. And now I'm simply going to go to File, Import, Import to Library. And I'll locate my sprite that I downloaded. And now I'm just going to import it to my library. When we look, when we look at the library, you'll see that we have a bunch of different images that pop in. One of them is a symbol. You'll either recognize this by the fact that it's named symbol or it has a symbol icon by it. This is Flash basically compiling all the images that comprise the animated GIF and putting it into a symbol for us so it's ready to use and actually it's making the process a lot easier. So that's the one you want when you import your images or you import your GIF. So we're going to take that and drag it out onto our new layer and put it right on the stage. And I'm simply going to take my free transform tool here and just enlarge it a little bit. So now we have the character right on the stage. And the next um, thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to extend my timeline on both layers out to frame 40. So I'm just gonna click my top layer, hold and shift, click my bottom layer at frame 40, right click and insert a keyframe. Now at frame 40 on that character layer, I'm simply going to drag my character across the screen like this. Just kind of line them up with the ground there. And I'm going to come back to frame one then on that layer and right click and create a classic tween. So now when I go ahead and I hit enter, you're gonna see him kind of slide across the screen. This is because when we imported the GIF, it automatically makes it a movie clip symbol. And movie clip symbols don't appear to animate when you're simply hitting enter in Flash. Instead, we need to go to control test movie to see it play out. And now we can see the animation taking place. Now, just one more thing to mention. If you're going to export this movie, as a video file, for instance, you're going to share it on YouTube, you're going to need to make this symbol a graphic. Otherwise, when you export the movie, you're going to see him slotting across the screen like this and not animating. So what you would simply do there is you would click your symbol at frame one and go to your properties box and make sure it's set to graphic and not movie clip. So then when you go ahead and play it, you'll see him animate out, and that's how it will appear then in your video file and not doing that sliding thing instead. But beyond that, we can now go ahead and add some enemies in here or mix and match or do whatever you want. It's your movie, you can get creative with it. But this should get you started hopefully on how to use animated GIFs in Flash. So I hope you guys found this helpful and I'll see you guys next time.